Once you've developed your strategic messaging and your key media points, there are three steps you need to take to make sure that your message is reported in the media. In today's media environment, we have three broad categories. We have traditional broadcast media, radio and television, print media, and new media or online media. Broadcast media reaches the broadest possible audience. However, broadcast media is typically framed around short sound bites and very short stories. If you're looking at print media, you'll have more opportunities to elaborate and to make more nuanced and complicated arguments. Of course, print media moves slower than uh, broadcast media, and so you'll need to be aware of timing when you're using print media. When it comes to new media, whether they're social networking sites, um, blogs, web pages, Twitter, uh, any of these new uh, media formats that offer you an opportunity to frame your message, to tailor it to the appropriate time frame, and to really target your audience. The second thing to consider in getting your message out to the media is the channels you're going to use to communicate with them. A press list is simply a list of publications, uh, media outlets, online resources, contact names, and the contact information. This is a list you're going to build uh, little by little as you become more and more experienced with media or you may be uh, uh, borrowing someone else's press list. The important thing is to, uh, to find out how reporters want to receive content from you. In the olden days, everybody got a fax. A press release would simply go to a fax and on, on top of someone's uh, inbox and they would sort it. Today you may also be sending press releases by email, you may need to make a phone call to a reporter's uh, personal cell phone, or there may be a, a, a website where you post content to be considered for, for coverage. So having a, an up-to-date media list includes not just the name of the publication, the reporter, but also the contact method and information that you need to get your uh, media material to the reporter and on the top of that stack. Hi, my name is Chris Goldstein. I'm the media coordinator for the Coalition for Medical Marijuana of New Jersey. And I do a lot of media coordination and setting up of press conferences. So I want to give you a little bit of an inside angle on how to get marijuana information out there to your local media sources. So the first step is really creating a press release. You want to make it brief. When you create a press release, you go out into your community, either online or call up your local newspapers. Get the contact information for each local source. I try and send out a press release to all of the television stations, the radio stations, and the newsprint media. Don't forget about bloggers either. They're an important part of getting your news out there. When you create a press release online and you get all the contact information compiled, you want to make sure that that press release is clear and concise but you also want to leave questions open. If you give everything away to the media right away in a one-page document, there's no reason for them to call and there's no reason for them to come out to your event. Make it short, sweet, and to the point. Who, where, when, what, why. Put it all in one page. Also remember, and I'm not saying this for any members of the media who are watching, but reporters and those in news media tend to have a short-term memory. You want to send out three press releases for a single day's event. Send out a press release the week before, the day before, and the day of. This will ensure that the new employees who are coming onto the assignment desks at the news organizations get the most up-to-date information and they'll send a reporter out to your event. You may also have the opportunity to organize a media event to promote medical cannabis. And uh, this is a really great way to reach out to the media because uh, you have them come to you and host a press conference or other event to help frame the issue just the way you want it. When you're organizing an event like this, it's very important to let people know well in advance that there'll be a press conference uh, so that they can plan ahead and allocate resources. Large media outlets have to schedule these things uh, in order to make sure they get all of their stories covered. Uh, after you announce the event well in advance, uh, you'll also want to do some follow-up, usually the day before, just to remind people that the event is still happening. If you're planning a media event like a press conference, think ahead about where you're going to do it and when. You want to have a press conference in time for the news cycle. That usually means early in the day, so you can make the noon and later broadcast. And you want to think about where. The, the location for your press conference, your media event, uh, can be very impactful, uh, but it can also be distracting. It may be great to have your event in front of City Hall, but be careful that the traffic noise uh, or congestion on the sidewalk doesn't obscure your message. By the same token, you may want to have uh, a press event in a press room at a public building. Uh, but when you're doing that, also make sure you don't lose the immediacy and the enthusiasm that you're trying to communicate.
The third thing to think about when you're creating your media event is how you're going to get it covered. It's very important that you plan ahead and create an event that's timed and orchestrated to get coverage. So keep an eye on the news because a media hook could come up at any time. And if you have a city council vote or a law enforcement situation or something else that's in the news, that may be a great opportunity to get your message out in a press release, a press advisory, or a media event. There's two ways that you can get press. You want to have press come to you and actually film you at a location like a state house or a press conference, or you want to make a statement to the press that they will use in print later. Now, the first press release asks the media to come to you. The second press release crafts a careful statement that the media then uses in their own pieces later. Now, a couple of minutes online and you too can have a press release that brings media out to your cause. In creating a media event, also think about the way that your event looks. Think about the way people will be dressed, the visual aids that you might use, and the setting of the uh, media event itself. Uh, if you're going to have a unified appearance and uh, some creative and interesting visual aids to make sure that the, the media is more interested in covering your event, you may need to plan ahead. You'll have to announce the theme or maybe host a previous event to design signs or banners or other props that are going to make your media event uh, more desirable to visually oriented media. There are a variety of media resources on the Americans for Safe Access website. Visit our website to look for sample press releases, letters to the editor, and tips on how to be persuasive. Medical marijuana is a hot topic. It's one that media wants to cover. Make sure you give them the most current and up-to-date information possible and they will cover your issue. My name is Chris Goldstein. Feel free to contact me for more information at cmmnj.org.